Oh, this game has returned from beyond the grave. Hello? I have a walkthrough. Let's get this started. I have returned from beyond. Darkness shall prevail. Somewhere in the news. Happy birthday! Viewers turn 18 today. Do I hear wedding bells? Oh, come on, Grandpa. The lights? I don't care. Time passes. Rosencruz! Alive? Impossible! No! Don't take my granddaughter! Go, evil demon! Don't resist my power, old man! Could he? Help! Grandpa! Now the world will be mine! <laughs> No, please don't go. Step aside, you impudent boy. Die, Phantom. You fool. Ugh. As you fall down, you screams. Try this again, but it's called Sere Gari. Or Ghost Hunters. Brought to us by Hudson Software 1989 and translated by The Snark. I don't have to repeat this because of our weapons. Now, my first attempt, I've played this, um... I was right at the end of the game. But I made a wrong turn at Albuquerque. And I did not realize that there was a password system by pressing select. Of course, I have safe. I have safe. Yeah, I have, I have safe states at the ready this time. When we get to it. Hmm. Hmm. 
So the full translation is by Snark and Provol. Hey, MV Marty, man. Me, I've been back. You, why are you up? <laughs> I know why I'm. I was doing some. I was doing some audition. So, figure since I got this little groove going, I might as well just ride it. You know. No problem, man. Oh yeah, it is. Trust me. It, it is one good wee trip. And thanks for stopping by. And thanks for the luck, dog. I appreciate it. So we're at the clinic. You regain consciousness. You was abducted and Grandpa was killed. What will you do? I don't know. I see what the hell is going on here. There's a nurse. Ugly looking nurse. When the ambulance came, you were mumbling. No, of course I was mumbling. I don't know what the fuck was I. What was the fuck I was talking about? You kept saying Rose, and Professor Kyojo overheard and wants to see you. Stays down the hall. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go. I'm glad to see that you recovered. I'm also where Rosie. Entire story. You must not face Rosencrutz alone. It is too dangerous. Oh, and by the way, that's how the password system works. That's why we're not going to use the password system. I'll join you. We must stop Rosencrutz and save you. Something falls from your pocket as you go. You always wore this locket. The old manor. Oh yeah, there's nothing creepy about this place. No, is there? It's just really, really creepy. Yeah, you show up at an old manor for no apparent reason at all. It's just very intriguing. Check out this manor. It beckons you. How about the door? The door is unlocked. Oh, well, we go inside then. In the foyer. Check around the foyer. We see stairs and hallway. The foyer. Pictures on the hut. We check the picture. Your glares at you. He abducted me. Oh, the mouth has begun to move. So did the truck. And so 
so than my brain. The power of Solomon flows through me. You was in my clutches. I'm taking this motherfucker right now. You remove it. You want to throw it in the fireplace. You want to burn that motherfucker alive. Sadly, we can't do that. So, let's go. Up the stairs. Check around. Seeing a wall plaque and a stair rail. Oh yeah, there's nothing creepy about that plaque over there now, is it? For those who are wondering, password. There you go. <laughs> Therefore, I'm using safe pieces. Skull's mouth is sealed shut. Oh, up the floor too. Check around. And we go in the red door. Go towards the red door and check the red door. The large oak door has a skull ornament. Well, I would picture it any other way now, would I'll go inside. Inside the room. Check around. A large best. A, a, a large bed. A large bed is next to a desk. Yeah, when a, when you have a bed and a desk, and you merge two, you get a desk. <laughs> a desk. There you go. Oh, let's. See. Oh boy. Um. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um. I am. Checking the desk. A silver key. We take the silver key. I want to check around the desk. Don't bother. You check around. You see a bookshelf and a desk. You check the desk. It has a book on it. And we check the book. Rocks of Ossipa. Kyojo, what does it have to say? Girls and Chris may have gone to Asuka. Check the book. Oh, a gold key fell from one of the pages. We take that gold key. And we 
Oui. Back into the foyer. go to the blue door. Here's the key. Go inside. Inside room. Well, this, why does this remind me of Dr. Kaus all of a sudden? Check around. The bed is by bureau. the drawer. See a note inside. Okay, Joe, what does that say? That doesn't say right now. Okay. Check that note. The power, of, the power of Solomon lies in Shambhala. In one century, a maiden can open the shining door. It is from 100 years ago. It must be the conqueror of Shambhala. I've watched that full Metal Alchemist movie. I have it. Pretty good movie. And I will say it counts too as a proper ending to the series. Which part of it, I don't know. The mystical city of Shambhala. Mew holds the secret. Took Mew away to Asuka. Thank you, Kojo. Let's go. The red door. Check the skull. It's menacing. No! Touch the evil skull and it makes a strange noise. Now that means we go back to the hallway. Behold, them skulls, man, them skulls. Check that 
black. Skull's grinning. Check them out. You find a switch. And you check the switch. Suddenly you hear a click. Oh! The stairs have opened, revealing a secret passage! Oh, jeez. <laughs> we go inside the secret room. Check around. You see a wall. Check the wall. Seems barren. We use the pitcher. That leaves us outside, and now we can go to Asuka. Ah, uh, yes, Asuka Village. By the way, password for those who want. Next, we check around this place. The sign is by the town plaza. We go to the plaza. Check around. Shops in here. Of course, we should check the shops. We find an aviary and a bar. It's a boy. Virtual. He seems to be in a trance. Of course, that boy looks like he's in a trance. Seems like he's seen some things. Reminder, Hudson's outfit is. Inside the bird shop. Man's near some birds in a peacock. Check out that peacock. It's calm. The man. Welcome. Speak to this man. Shambhala. I'm just a bird keeper. Go as the old man down in the side. Uh, wait, what'd you say? Okay, I thought you said something else. Okay, so now we go. The boy summons the turtle spirit. Back to the plaza, go to the bazaar. To the shop, check around. An old man selling trinkets. Speak to the old man. 
The museum curator knows the legends. I'm pretty sure he does. Strange looking lady, I don't know what the hell. This strange looking lady, which makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. The curator's in a meeting now. Lovely. Back to the gateway. <laughs> To the plaza. <laughs> Back to the... Go to the bar now. We need a drink. Ah, uh, hello, Piston Honda. How are you doing? <laughs> I need a drink. I need a hard drink. I need something to make me go crazy. No, no. I don't really need something to go crazy. I need something I can punch in the face. around. Hefty man's grilling meat. I bet he is. <laughs> Let me speak to this man. The curator monk drink here often. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where, oh, where? Where, oh, where? In the world Am I going? I think I know Damn it all, damn it all I don't know what the hell am I doing I don't know where When the monk came by today, I asked him to bless my prosperity charm at the shrine. Now I can go to the shrine. Check around. His turn is by the temple. Check the sixth turn. It has water and ladle. I'm going to take that ladle. Taken. Because I gotta take a ladle. I don't know why. Now I must use said ladle. You draw water. This lush right here. <laughs> Swear, this boy's a lush. But I gotta speak to this lush of a boy right here. Wake up, lazy bones! can't hear you. His ears are ringing. I'm going to check the altar. Muck charms. We'll take one of the muck charms.
back to Gateway, and then back to the plaza. And back to the bar. We're gonna get wasted. We're gonna get shit faced. We're actually going to. Um, speak to this man again. The boy tends to try and drink like a sea turtle. Well, here you go, man. Sim Sim Salabim to you and yours. Thanks! Have some sake! So guess what we gotta do? We gotta wake this boy up. Oh boy, we gotta wake this boy up. Use the sake on this boy. Sake, sake, sake! It's happy hour! He is out. And that's why we use that water on him. Who turned on? Who turned on the lights? Monk went to the sake cup rock to visit the curator. Thank you. Back to the gateway, so now we can go to sake rock. Sorry. The power to Shambhala from Asuka is unknown to me. How's it unknown to you? This rock may have the answer. Uh huh, so I'm gonna check this, this rock. It's odd. No, you don't, you don't say. It has grooves. My good friend, the curator, can help you. Please give him this letter. Oh, back to museum. Hey, I got a letter for the curator here. You show her. You may see the curator now. Again. Really? What was the curator doing all this time? Legend says a magical war below Asuka defeats evil and leads to Shabbat. Carving at Turtle Rock says, a blazing feather awakens the turtle. The turtle was believed to be a messenger. Uh-huh. Remember this riddle, and as your shell you blaze the trail. Uh-huh. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. You can imagine right now, this one per- 
these two people are walking around, their feet are hurting like hell. I can imagine if if it was done in an RPG setting, they'd be like one, two, one, two. <laughs> they'd be walking in place. Because they're their legs be tired as all hell, but their feet would be like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Really funny as hell. Tell me. Uh, let's see, what was I doing? Going to the aviary. Back to the oh. What am I doing? Oh, go, go to Turtle World. Speak to this man here. There was a strange boy playing here at Turtle Rock just a short while ago. Until that strange voice started hanging around and bothering my birds. Even now, my prized peacock's silent and will not fan his feathers. I wonder why. The boy's mother stands by the house. Up close by, I'm looking at her eyes like, <laughs> she's like all, she's all cockeyed. I'm, I'm just looking at her from, from where I am. She's either looking this way, but she looks cockeyed. Can't make this shit up. It's funny as hell. <laughs> Hi there. Hi there. I'm the boy's mother! Oh, good lord, you mean you're the boy's mother? My son always wanders near the rocks. He may be at Hollow Rock. That rock is on top of a mountain. about cry oh it's a ghost all right 
the fuck you say? Around. The strange boy appears. Again. Well, I can't. The strange boy says, I have the power of spirit. The ancestral turtle spirit inhabited it. Inhabitant. The turtle spirit rests inside Hollow Rock. It can be set free only when a flower blossoms there. The spirit leaves and the boy runs away. Cause sure, that's how things work around here. Like that rock. A flower sprouts up. Take that flower. Okay, so back to... <laughs> oh, boy. Where, where are we going? We're going back to... Going back to the plaza. Back to the bird shop. Side. Um. Oh. Oh, feathers! We use the flower. Sycamore, 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 sycamore. The peacock drops a small petal. Sycamore, 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 Back to Total Rock. Change cares away. Worries for another day. Down to Turtle Rock. <laughs> oh man, down to Turtle Rock. We shall use the pedal. Sycamore, 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 split. The rock glows and speaks. And yes, you can look at it, it looks like a turtle. Sycamore, 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 sycamore,
sucky rock back again. We used the shell we got from Turtle Rock. The rock slides reveal a hole. We go down. Inside the gloomy cave, there's a dark passage. Stone cave, I would imagine it would be. Wall. Moss grows on the stone wall. And again, you see an ancient mandala on the wall. One more time. The glyph puzzles you. Check the mandala. Jojo can decipher it. Yeah, Hensley, we got a dude who, who knows these things. Jojo, what can you tell me about this thing? Aha. Uh -huh. The ancient glyphs say left, down, up, right. see a white orb. You check the white orb. It shines and then you take the white orb. Ah! Lobster claws drawn near. Oh, for fuck's sake. strikes the monster like gleams from the wound and then we attack it and then we punch that thing in the face wow you beat lobster claws and exit appears I feel so stupid after that you have revived wait how did I revive I don't remember actually passing out tell me I have punched out a lobster in the face I passed out maybe it probably farted on me or burped in my face I don't know but all of a sudden like I revived and God knows where where the hell are we a river flows nearby yeah but that doesn't tell me uh Kyojo you okay over there he's unconscious oh there's some Water nearby, so we take that. Use the water. And the cold water revives him. Uh, Kyojo, what's going on? Oh, well, maybe Shambhala's not far. Let's go ahead. In the forest blend. Check around, because we don't know what the fuck is going on. Ticket rustling. Oh, by the way, that's where if you want it. Uh, 
Oh boy. Um, check that. Check that ticket. Is it a monster? Speak to the brush. Poof! Something leaks from the brush. Who's that? We don't see strangers in this neck of the woods. Shambhala? Kokami is the only place I know of. Only few people live in the town. Keep going ahead. Look for the sign. Yeah. That's the Forest Glen again. Check around. Weeds. Check the weed. Once purple, man! <clears throat> It's a mensinor called Ghost Weed. Oh, let's take that weed, man. Oh, yeah, this is a good weed trip right now, dog. <laughs> Seriously. It's real. Go ahead. Even more. The forest one. The sign. Duh. The sign, please. Kukami. Oh, Kami. Mm, <laughs> what does it mean? Oh, place the moment's more. Go to Kukami. We're inside Kukami Village, though. Around. My town has a few rustic bones. Of course it does. Check the huts. A cop! Instantly out of nowhere. <laughs> Speak to the cop! Who just instantly appeared out of nowhere. Your ass will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. Who are you? I am the law. Let's go to the right hut. A sign on the door says Ito. Strangers! Oh, okay, fine, fine. We, we, we sorry. Um, going to the middle hut. Sign on the door says Tanaka. Check around because we see a boy there. A boy playing. Wherever the hell he's playing with. Probably has a stick or something. Brother, don't talk to strangers. Boy shouts, Hey, get in the house! The boy runs inside.
sign on the door says Sugimu. Patch huts. That's what I feel my stream is just a patch hut. <laughs> Nobody will want to be here. <laughs> it's a patch hut. Look, y'all been missing out shit. Sometimes you don't need a popular game just to make yourself popular. Then again, I'm not one day one players. Used to be, but it got old real fast. comes out. Um, hi. Um, why are you here? This island's curse. The man's daughter is very sick. The town doctor says her condition's serious. Oh, you let me know what's going on, man. Thank you. I'm going back to the square. Town doctors from Tokyo. He specializes in herbal remedies. I'm keeping my eyes on you. Oh, I am the yo. Thanks for telling me where the clinic is, dumbass. I check around. A man. Duh! Check the man. He's the village doctor. Duh. Legend says that ghost pirates came and attacked an island. That is why the villagers fear strangers. I treated the mayor's daughter, but I can't break your fever. It is said that this island has buried treasure. The mayor knows more, but he's miserable. Well, dude, I got something for you. Good. Use it. That's ghost sweet. Take it to the mansion. Engine instantly appears, and there we are. It's very elegant. The mayor. He just showed up by an orange. Leave! You wicked ghost have cursed my daughter! Is your daughter named Jessica? Just asking for a friend. Look, um, here. This may save her. Oh, that I will hear my daughter! The mayor is inside. You actually come right back out. Thank you! She is much better now. Please come inside. Thank you, sir. Treasure? 
Legend says that it lies deep within the earth below cliff. Shambhala, the witch of the forest, knows of such things. The eccentric witch lives in the forest. She's very old and may know where the treasure is buried. The longest cabin's nearby. Ask him about that. Ask him or who? Um. Who am I asking and who am I going to see, sir? The cabin. Back around. Awesome! Chup! Really, you're gonna say chop chop, so. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? That's a boy. It's the logger. Uh, okay, Mr. Logger. I know the fall as well. The way to the witch's house is dangerous. You must go through the forest and cross the swamp. She is very wise. So we go to the grotto. Edge of the woods seems strange. It smells funny too. Oh god, why are we in the swamp? It smells like poo gas around here. It's spooky! Chill Joe, what do you gotta say about this? Oh, big bubble popped up. Bubble? That's a slimy swamp monster! That's one angry vagina right there. hits the mouth it quivers I bet it does you slice the glob in half Jim, where the fuck did you find the time to get a sword or a knife or something to cut that dang damn thing down the globule dissolves Take around a crone appeared the chrome. Oh, it's the witch! Oh. You have come far, but still have far to go before you face your fall. This monster was one of my lead. You will be a hero in time. Yet you 
have much to learn. The way to Shambal is dangerous. Let's come to my cottage. Well, we're here at the cottage. And we gotta speak to her one, two, four times. This book tells the legend of the treasure. Pirates once ruled this island. Siren came and overthrew them. Since then, the treasure bears its name. Shambhala is by the sea. The rulers of the North Sky point the way to the Mystic Land. stands a headless idol that is infested by many ancient monsters. Attack only the one To take it, you must leave it. The dense woods. We must go forward in the dense woods. The cliff overlook. Oh, by the way, there's your password, just in case you want to write it down. So, let's go forward. The castle's too wide! Mm -hmm. Beyond the chasm, you see a dolmen. That's the dolmen. Stone Circle may lead to Shambhala. Check the castle. The other side is 10 meters away. Oh, now we go left. Idol. Check around. It frightens you. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Check the idol. Don't bother. Fine. Be that way. Get back here. Back twice. A clearing. Oh god, you look like him. You, go, you look like one of those moves from Chrono Trigger, I swear to God. It's a large rock formation. Which looks like it could come to life any moment. A face is carved into the rock. Again, a head of idol. It's 
glowing. Seven monster heads leap from the idol. Well, let's use our white orb. Bam! It exposes the main one. You sever the main head. The man, the monster dying vanish. Of course it does. Seven idols twinkle. In the shape of a North Star. It screams, You are shock! You're standing in a formation. What does this mean, Kyojo? Check it out. It's the Big Dipper. You are shock! The Big Dipper rules the North Sky. It speaks a legend called Fist of the North Star. So we go back twice. Check the rock. The rock frowns. Brow. Mysterious glyphs are carved across the rock's solemn brow. He's given the people's uh, he's given the people's eyebrow. If you don't take your candy ass somewhere and stop looking at me like that, you know what the rock says? The rock says. Uh, uh, the glyphs appear to be comfortable. North, East, South, West. Check around. The ancient passage to the stone circle opens. Mysterious Dolmen. Check the Dolmen. Four rocks and twelve lines encircle the huge stone. Check the four rocks. What is the significance? Oh, each rock is a compass direction. Under each rock is a group. So, in said order, Nesui, North, East, Center rock splits open. A cavern's below. And we're going inside. North, east, southwest, nest we. Beneath the dolmens, a passageway.
this is a treasure. Wall slides in front of it, of course, because it's not that easy. Go right. There's a gear wheel. Check the gear. What is this contraption? The gear is attached to a pulley. See a rod. You take the rod and use the rod. The gear starts to turn. Right left. Forward. Yells a buzzer. Yells a buzzer. Really? Guards the blue orb. Okay, fine. Take the blue orb. The also buzzer springs to life as you take the orb. Here's the blue orb. Turn new orb as Beelzebub Buzzer calms. Of course, because why not? Okay, let's go back. To the antechamber. Go right. Take the floor again. The gear can lower and raise the sliding wall. Grab the orb and I'll trap it. Left. Forward. Take the blue orb. Go back. You escape just as the wall crushes Beelzebub Buzzer. You own the orb. The you have escaped with the orb. Chojo's on his way out. Okay, let's go back then. Left, you see a small altar. Three times, it's old. Hmm. What's it for? Oh, an orb can fit in the hole. I bet it can. Use the blue orb. This orb fits. The blue orb projects a map on the wall. Of course, it does. If you're wondering what this game is, it's called Sede Gade for the NES. Brought to us by... Before they were involved with Konami, Hudson Soft. Hey, it looks like the island of Awa. A portal appeared on the left wall. Go to Awa. A mountain looms over this the seashore. Seashell, seashell, play the seashore. Seashell, seashells, by seashore. Seashell, seashells, by seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Check around three small houses. Check 
a house. Brass sign is by the house. Check the sign by said houses. Maeda Takara Yamazeki. Go to the house. To the Maeda household. Check inside. A rope hangs. Check the woman. She's smiling. Speak to her. I don't think Shambhal is nearby, but Himiko's tomb is. Oh, by the way. Right. Right. I'm s I'm I'm dealing with the person like, how do you think yeah, I'm looking at the password? <laughs> Visit Himiko's tomb. It is above the rocky point, hidden from sight. Some say that Queen Himiko's tomb conceals many mysteries and wonders. Just in case, password. First cross the old bridge at the end of town. Thank you, sir. Yamaze. No one is home at Yamaze. Yamazeki. So we shall take that. We shall do the phone. Check around. There are fisherman tools. Check the tools. There are three. So you can't. Of course. Because you gotta check every one and before you use it. Spear. Tip sharp. It's heavy. Get on the net. It's holy. So I'm gonna take the spear. Go to the bridge. You can't cross the bridge. Of course I. Check the bridge. The bridge is dilapidated. Of course, it has been dilapidated for quite some time. Check across. It's far too. It's it's far. It's it's too far to jump. No kidding. Use my rope. Rope! Use the spear. You tied together! Whew! Throw the spear across. Now you can now you can use the rope to get across. Yay! Go across. The rocky cliff. Around. 
down, you make it across, and the rope, rope becomes loose. Mm -hmm. The rope twists by the cliff. Just take the spear. You reel in the rope and spear. Close. What lies beyond it? Yes, what lies beyond this bridge? Use the white ore. You can, of course. Check the gate. The large gate won't budge. Can we use the white orb? A lantern suddenly appears. Wow, 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 wow. Check that lantern. The lantern light glows. In darkest day and blackest night. No evil shall escape my might. Beware my power, Green Lantern's light! Vibrates. Ooh, okay, let's use the blue orb. You remove the lid. Kaboom! The gate opens. The rocket. Let's go ahead. Fourth pathway. Okay. may join later. Oh, wait. Go the right path. The water roars. Check around. A flower grows by the cascade. White orb. Ah, hidden grotto. Go to the grotto. A rock is in the grotto. Something strikes at you. Can't see it. Check around. It's above you. You feel a 
coming. Light cast a shadow. Take the shadow. It reflects in the muddy pool. Of course it would. Throw mud at it! Okay, well, use the mud then. The fish mall appears. Of course it does. It hit the stomach. Are you sure that's a stomach, sir? I swear, it, it could be something worse, but I don't think it looks like a stomach. A blue orb. Load up the blue orb. As you do, a blue ray strikes Fish Maw's stomach. You have defeated Fish Maw! I use my mighty balls to knock out one fish maw. I have ascended. Code, I'll remember it. Go back. Go ahead. Higanji. Cipher by using the cool. Okay, check the pillar. Himiko's tomb is the source of power and light. This is Solomon Gaiden. What does that mean, dude? The last parts of passwords. Come and guide me. Suddenly the door opens. The hidden cascade of Higanji. Of course, why not? It appears to be a dead end. Are you sure about this, Kyojo? What, 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 the, what the hell, man? Because two may be above it. Around. What's up there? A huge shrine. Okay, um. A rocky ledge hangs over the cascade. Crusty rope and spear. The rope's tight enough to climb. Go above. Just as you make it, the spear falls below. There's Himiko's tomb. It lies in ruins. It's not just a tomb. Oh, what are these? Spots for two orbs. One for the white, and one for the blue. Brilliant light beams at the mountain. Oh 
over there. Sword Mountain shines. The path to Shambhala. Go to Sword Mountain. Ah, uh, here we go. Why am I safe staying? Because I remember I lost to this because I took the wrong turn. Shambhala's close. the gloomy caves. Oh no, four times. Dead end. Check around. What just fell down? A pickaxe! Check that invisible pickaxe. The rusty old pickaxe is strong? Taking that rusty old pickaxe. Go back. Left twice. Petroglyphs. Hmm. Shining door opens the way. I know, right, Dee? We finally see each other now, don't we? <laughs> I 
<laughs> I figure I might as well just get this out of the way, just knock it out. <laughs> oh, I've been doing good. How about you? I, I know I've been catching your, um, let's play a Sadame. Pretty good, by the way. I got it for myself after watching it. I had to look it up like, what the hell's that? <laughs> it's full of like, oh. Oh, no wonder. Sengoku. Okay, I know what that is. <laughs> what was I doing? Left. Uh, I was talking about left. Okay. Yeah, it, this game is called Ghost Hunter. Oh, man. They usually it is, yeah. See, this is what most people are missing out on. They're missing out on mystery, adventure. They're out there doing horror. The most boring aspect of being scared in all the goddamn life. Horror. You know why? Because it's horror. You had to be scared. You want to be scared? Okay, um, imagine yourself, um, being scared shitless. And all of a sudden, you have this funny smell coming from your own person. How do you feel? Oh, anytime. It's like me playing Samurai Warriors. They show, a, they have enough history to say, oh, hey, you can use this. It's just what I remember from Samurai Warriors. It just basically says, oh, this is what you're doing? Oh. a rushing town. Check around again. It's from behind the wall. We use the white orb. A subterranean river. Check the wall. A ledge juts out from the wall. Of course. Check the wall. A ledge juts out. Oh. Go to the ledge. Yeah, it's for the NES. It's called um, Ghost Hunter. It's brought. It, 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 it was. It, it's by Hudson Soft. It was never brought out over here. 1989. Got fan translated. I had this kicking around for quite some time. I'm like. So, <laughs> so like, this is like my second attempt because. I actually got stuck here by going the wrong way. And the funny thing is, um, they had a they have a password system in which the password system you have to press one button to get it and that's select. Just select, just pull off the password, it's like, oh hey, you, you wanna know where you are? Here. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> It's like, for those who are following, you might want to write this down. And when I put this up on YouTube, it's like, yes, this shit exists. You want to know where you are right now? Would you like to check? Oh, 
want an odd rock? No, you don't say. Check the rock. Rock seems different. No, you don't say. Take the rock. The rock's too heavy to take. No, my regular streaming schedule is like me doing something around evening time, but. My normal streaming schedule is that of evening. But I didn't feel like it because I was doing, I was doing something earlier. So it's like, uh, I did four hours of Inspector Waffle the other, the other morning. I'm kind of considering changing it up, but it's like, that don't make sense for me to change it up and other people can't catch my stream. So I'm trying to work it out to where everybody can catch my streams in some shape or form. I'm like, the fuck? This, <laughs> it really gets me like, the fuck you say? Yeah. Yeah, the fuck I say? The fuck I say? You really don't get this? I'm like, yeah, you, you really don't get this. I get it. I get it. Don't worry. I get it. <laughs> yeah, this rock is too heavy to take. I wonder why. white orb to pass through it. <laughs> Something blocks the orb's bright light. Well, of course it does. That's why we're using the pickaxe. The axe is no match for that wall. Mm. I see no hole here, but we go through anyway. <laughs> we go forward three times. <laughs> no, we go. We keep going forward. Dead end, it's very hot in here. Check around. Oh, there's a rushing tone. Still check around. It's from behind the wall. Use the white orb. <gasps> Molten lava flows there! Lava spears out. Okay, good. Okay. Good, good. I was wondering, like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh shit, what the hell? Oh goddamn. What, 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 why, 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 why? I know that cave music from Nadia's Secret of Blue Water. It's like Namco. Namco. What the fuck? It's like, I gotta go back to that game. It's like, oh shit, I gotta go back to that game. <laughs> it's like, right after I'm done with Bomb of Lagoon, I gotta go back. Oh fuck, I gotta go back. Oh, son of a bitch. Hurry, the lava's creeping up on us. I kinda have to. It's like, oh, I gotta go back to the Nautilus.
it's like I gotta go to the Nautilus, then I gotta go through that kind of madness that I have to go through the Nautilus again. out there that have to see this through to the very end I would not do I would not be doing my due diligence as a let's player to not show the rest of this beautiful piece of work <clears throat> there are better naughty games out there but the sad thing is they're not um, translated At what cost me? What cost? Yes, what cost me? My natural born sanity. My natural born sanity is at no, it's not at risk. I kind of wish it was at risk, but it's not at risk. Right. Heard right, a lava creeping up on us again with this ship. To the ledge. You stand up on the ledge. Why? Use the axe. Bam! Wire spews out the wall. Hot steam rises from the floor. The lava's cooled by the water! Oh my god, why? We go down. Shadow Gang. Shadow Run and Shadow Gang. Deja Vu. Me? I'm going through Ghost Hunter. Oh, the wall is cracked open! Kyojo, help me out here! Hot lava and cool water cracked the crystal wall. Go to Shambal. Trust me. The rock lop. What the fuck? The rock. What? A rock. A it's not a rock lobster. It's a rock lop.
Okay. Okay, fine. This is for you here later. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is for you here later. It is quite horrible. The eyes weak. Well, I bet it is. The rock lops eye is shut tight. What the fuck? Bam! A huge rock almost crushes you. No, it will attack the both of you! Oh, really? You're kidding. Um, it... Yo, Joe. Elder, it's... Strike when the rock opens his eyes. Stupid. No, you don't say. Kill Joe runs ahead and signals you. Ah, the rock lock attacks. Kill Joe. Red eye of the rock lop is open. You strike it with force. I punch it in the face. Rock lop falls. Oh. <coughs> That's exactly what it is. Yep, it's exactly like Spellcaster. A sword appears. God Slayer. Oh. <laughs> It has a crimson glow. Clearly we're just punching rocks in the face and shit. We, we've been punching ghosts in the face. That's all we've been doing. Take the sword. Taken. Speak to Kyojo. I can't move. Go on without me. Oh, damn, dude. Really? You, oh, good lord, man. This is your face close up. Oh, my God. Dude, dude. Defeat Rosencruz and save Mew. You are brave and love guides you. Don't forget love. It is your power. They look like big, strong hands. <laughs> he has one big eye. <laughs> I just beat big eye, that's all I did. Just like, pops him right out. Oh, that. Oh, my eye! Kill Joe, pass it. Be pa you pass it out, you little bitch! Fine, fine. A stone wall blocks the way to Shambhala. Shambhala bala boo, Shambhala bala 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 Shambhala bala 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 Shambhala bala 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 boo, Shambhala bala 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 boo, Shambhala bala 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 boo. No way to enter. Oh, really? White orb, what can you tell me? Your beams. I shall use the power of my balls in order to open this up. The orb beams! I put the two together and I say, Ha, do, ken. It blazes fire. Batman! 
Yeah, of course it blazes fire. Boom! Blazing sword! A warp appears in the rock wall! Shambhala's ahead! A dimension of infinite power! Void of space comes a blinding light. Check the stars. It's a huge crystal docodecahedron. Yeah, let me check that crystal. Just why not? Rosencrantz teleports from it. At last, it's him! Sure. Rosencrantz has Mew in the crystal. He was hypnotized. So you have arrived. Just in time to see your precious girlfriend sacrificed to the evil gods. The world's mine. <laughs> no, the crystal absorbs Mew. Mighty white orb of justice. A force felt watching. <laughs> Looking for something? How about I punch you in the face? You lash out at Rosencrantz, but a force field blocks you. Your power's your power's useless against me. The crystal pulses and fires light beam. I lost two damage. I shall use. Take this! My love! My anger! And all of my sorrow! You reflect the light beams at Rosencrutz. He perishes. The crystal transforms Mew into a demon. Oh, aren't you the sweetest looking demon I've ever seen? You, 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 you need... I'll tell you what you need, Mew. You, you need some nothing. Here, here, hold this in your hands. Here, hold this in your hands, okay? I want you to hold this in your hands, okay? You hold her luck. The demon howls. Your love drives the demon soul from you. I punch it in the face. Now, you lop off the demon's horns with a sword. <laughs> Demon shrieks, its body evaporates. The warp in Chambala closes. You awaken. Finally being seen. Check around. 
round. Night falls upon Sword Mountain. Check Mew. You fall on the earth. Speak to Mew. You fall into a deep sleep upon the mountain's peak. What should I do? A voice speaks to his mind. Wake up! The hero! Mike, you are a hero. A wicked spirit is laid to rest. Your journey is done! I know, hero. I have lost the one I should have loved. I should have saved. Mike, you did your best and endured the journey. You would be proud. Poor Mew. Poor Mew. Such cruel fate. A hero would have saved you. <sighs> you are a hero. For your great love and bravery. I regret I couldn't finish. I will watch over you from heaven. And Tengoku. That's some bullshit. Kyocha. Love and bravery have prevailed. I will never forget you. Thank you. You awake. Oh! Oh, my. Was I dreaming? Where am I? Um. You're in my lap? Come now. Don't be scared, my love. I'm an anime protagonist. Oh, yes, my love. Let's go, Mew. It will be dawn soon. That's it. That's it. Oh my god, that's it. I don't know what to say after all this. I mean, Hudson Soft was behind this shit. <laughs> I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say about this, man. It's just, it's like, I mean, it was right. You could finish this game in two in two hours, because very it's it's really not a very long game. It's just two hours, which proves the point. You can actually get through a game within two hours in one session and poof, And that's translator boojumsnark.com. Boojumsnark. Fixes by Provo Hack 2013, of course. Some weird ass shit. And there it is, Hudson Soft. Hudson Soft, the people behind. Princess Tomato and the Salad Kingdom. Yeah, it's an, a very interesting game. <clears throat> Hudson Soft, you you couldn't just stick around with um. Yeah. Quick review. This game. Um. Well, this game. This game being as weird as it wants to be, being that it's um. An adventure game? And let me tell you, it is one of the weirdest games I've ever played. And mind you, this was my second attempt at beating this game, and I can only say, what the hell was I playing? It goes within the realm of Shadowgate. And... Deja Vu. Except you're not timed. The only time that you're really timed is like, oh hey, you got you got to make sure you make sure. Oh hey, this is what's going on. Hudson saw what the fuck were you thinking? No, seriously. 
before you merge with Konami. What the fuck was this? If I really wanted a good game right now, I'd be playing Adventure Island. I mean, Wonder Boy. I mean, that's what it really is. It was really one of those kind of games that just basically says, Weird. So yeah, this was Sede Gotti. The music by far is kind of enjoyable. Look, this was a one-shot thing, D. I'm letting you know right now. This was a one-shot thing. Even though it's October, I got it out of my system. I have another game I have to do later on, probably Wednesday. Not sure if I'm gonna be doing it. Uh, well, if I do it, if I do it early, I will do it early. Probably not like early, early, but still, the plan to do it. It's a game I've beat. It's a game I've played before and rented on PS2. It's called Resident Evil Dead Aim. And of course, I'm gonna be using cheats because it's a goddamn horror game. Why the fuck would I not use cheats in a horror game? Because horror games need to die. But since you come around my neck of the woods, we don't do horror here, we do Makai. We go straight into the belly of the beast because why the fuck not? We do not care around here. Because that's the thing with underrated games. We go deeper. We go right into the asshole of God knows what. And to this game, this was Hudson Soft asshole of God knows what. Well, that means... Yeah, next to Princess Tomato in the Southern Kingdom? Yeah, I, I think I kind of like, okay, let me just... Take that shovel and just, just pull it out real slow, pull it out real, real slow, and just, you know, just look at that shit. Look at, look at that mess right there. <laughs> I have no words for this game. Hudson Soft, why you do this? Yeah, thanks for coming out, Dave. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I'll see you guys Wednesday when I do something else. It might be... something more of the Makai. It might be something of the Macabre. Or it might be something totally different. I don't know. Until next time, remember, I've been your friendly neighborhood Tenkaichi. This was Seregare, presented by Hudson Top of 99. And this is the end of my stream. And. It's 3 a.m. somewhere in the world. Do you know where your kids are? Remember, if you're going about in the into the Makai realm or the Macabre realm, always remember to carry around a stick of dynamite, a good reliable piece, a sword, and possibly some cat claws for the road. If knuckles don't work out. Until Wednesday for whatever the hell I got planned for Wednesday. Um, see you next game. See you next stream. Dai Tenso and Tenkai Mutsu. 
Have a great night and a great morning.